Hey, what's up guys? It's Eric Johnson from Air Taste Rose Nation. I'm shooting a quick intro. Today's video, we are going through uh, taking a clip out of the training that we're doing in our live virtual camp. If you haven't checked it out, click the link in the description. It's going to be super dope. You're going to see that we go through uh, a whole bunch of stuff, but this is one out of like 12 trainings, and this is just a little piece of it. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. It's good stuff. Check it out. What we're focusing on is getting this ahead because what happens is if you try to do this what's up guys it's coach johnson and what we're going to be doing again is continuing to build and look at all of our drills now one of the things we're going to talk about step-ins next and step-ins are where i'm going to start at the back of the ring we're really kind of working that this is almost where we're getting out of a position two, right? Two and a half, but we're gonna incorporate this because this is moving through three, four, five, six, okay? So we're putting, we're getting closer to building that full throw. Now, when we look at our pillar three drills, we have what we call as our sprint counter and we can feel a sweep step and then push, pull, heel up, push and twist, right? So this is how I would look at those things. What you're gonna see is with a lot of beginners, it's gonna feel really clunky and you're gonna be a little narrow. So as long as we step, we're trying to get this hip ahead. We're trying to get back into this position. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna step in and you're gonna see how I'm gonna kinda get this. So look at my foot position. I tend to like to stand here because we wanna get this hip and I'm gonna take the hip to three. Now here's the real important disclaimer, okay? Okay. We never want to land in a full throw with our foot at three o'clock. That's a disaster. We want to be able to come around and get that foot basically to 12 o'clock and you know anywhere between one and 11 so that it's just got this really fast movement right into the finish. What we're focusing on is getting this ahead because what happens is if you try to do this in a step in, you'll do a back in and that isn't gonna work. That's actually a big mistake. Okay, so I'm gonna walk through it again and I'm gonna go through it nice and controlled and slow. And so you're gonna see me just kind of set the disc. Now I can go static and I can hold the discus up. This goes back to our holding the discus in week one. Can you do this position? So try static, we're gonna step and you're gonna see me come through and pull the discus, okay? So not bad, pulling off, rotated the foot fairly well. Now I wanna make it known, I do a lot of drilling. I haven't picked up and thrown a discus in months. So this is me just coming off the cuff. This is the importance of learning the patterns. As you do it, right, I do a lot of drills coaching my athletes, and so this is the point that why the pillar drills are so critical. And you notice how now as we're putting it together, we're thinking about simpler drills, but we're thinking about the movement. So you just kind of saw me step in, feel this go, and kind of come through. Now I'm pulling down a little bit and that's because I'm pushing and I've got a, like I said, I'm rusty. So it's a good example. So what you do when you throw, what's going to be your intention? What drill would you think of? So again, I'm just stepping in, step, push, pull, twist. Okay. And you want to think simple. Now this is about the maximum. Like this is pushing it when I'm giving you this information to be thinking about that much when you throw. We want to be rhythmical. Notice again, I did this, but I did this from a static position so I could feel this. And then my discus hits the high point and I'm able to come through. Here's one of the mistakes, step-ins. So you're kind of having to step this way. And you might say, well, that's how the throw goes, but not really at this point. Your hips, at this point, if you were to this point, your hips would already be out here. So this is why we're starting with our feet in this position because it reflects more of the actual position of this, right? You can see once I get to this point, my hips are here, my hips are here. If I take a throw and my hips are back here, I'm in big trouble in a throw. So we're gonna get to that when we go and put together a full throw after we do our next training and then we do our final full throw practice, okay? And on the next video, we're gonna talk real briefly about strength positions and how some of those things are gonna present challenges in the throws that you've learned so far. Okay guys, nice work. Thanks so much for watching guys.